All right, another action alert, same Apple, which according to an SEC filing is Warren Buffett's third largest holding. Yeah, well, you look, he loves it. And remember, he views it as a consumer product company, not unlike a Newell, not unlike a Procter. And it does sell at a lower multiple than they do. I mean, I think Newell, which we own for Action Alerts and is doing quite well, uh, is a very good analog. Remember, Warren Buffett, when he went into IBM, he went in and that was a tech company. Um, he has shifted uh, and is saying, listen, I was wrong about IBM, kind of going back to the idea that maybe he was, uh, that was not his forte. Um, but with Apple, he's saying, look, the loyalty is so great here that people want to own an Apple phone. And what's important about that is that's what Tim Cook told me when I visited him. Yes. He said, look, it's a consumer product and it's loved and we keep upgrading. He was talking about, maybe it's very funny because one of the things that Tim Cook was talking about is when he came up with the earbuds, which I gave my wife from Mother's Day, <laughs> when he came up with the earbuds, there were a lot of people who said, who would want these? Well, you know what? The demand for them is so great that they can't keep up. And why? Because people in the end don't want the the collared by the, uh, the strangle, they, you call right, it. the strangle, <laughs> and, and I think that that's again that's a consumer product innovation where these uh, great uh, technical gurus, tech gurus, are saying is he hasn't innovated. The consumer products people will be saying, oh my God, the guy innovates every iteration. So if you move the company over into consumer product and they can perhaps charge a thousand dollars for a new phone, what that says to me is you have the greatest consumer product goods company ever. Do you have the greatest tech company post Steve Jobs? I don't care. Mm. I love my device. I think we're, there's a false premise that you know somehow you want to measure Apple against uh, I, Netflix. I maybe you want to get against Amazon. They do that. I want to measure it against every other company that makes consumer products. It's the best consumer product company I've ever seen. <laughs> well, you mentioned Clorox in that interview with Tim Clark. Yeah, I mean, Clorox is a good company, but they and they innovate, but in the end, the innovation that comes with each iteration of the iPhone is rather extraordinary, and I don't know why Apple doesn't get more credit.